Hello guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the 1.2 update as well as a lot of um, menu stat changes uh, and everything that goes with it. You know, new calculation, new methods for it, tidying it up, yeah, as always. Uh, but I'm going to get right into the whole 1.2 update conversation. The update, um, at this moment, I do want it to come out in February. I know I said early February and I do apologize for that, guys. I'm very bad with release dates, um, just the way I work. So... Uh, anyone in the test discord can attest to this, but I'll be working on something. Let's say I'm working on, uh, like, Arkoji and Ascended God form, you know? And then I'm like, okay, I'm doing the visuals for Arkoji and Golden, of course, right? And then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go do metal form, right? And then I'm like, oh, I'm gonna do a metal core, you know, the where cooler is big. I'm gonna make different visuals for that in different forms. Uh... What I'm saying is I, I kind of snowball into development of other features because I see I could do it. And then typically if I think it's small enough, I'll do it. But then like an hour later, I'm back to what I was already working on. You get what I'm saying? Uh, you know, wasting time on some things. But developing in that sense, uh, I guess it's an ADHD type of development. Sure, right? Uh, it helps me more uh, keep on track, at least doing something. In terms of development because you know otherwise i'd probably just go you know play a game whenever i let's say i'm getting burnt out would would i rather develop a small feature that i wasn't already developing or would i rather just go play a game typically i'll develop a small feature i'll go play a game sometimes i'd, I'd prefer to develop something and i can just boost my own uh, knowledge of job uh yeah but as far as that goes uh, we're i'm looking forward to it's february and i do apologize to you guys for the delays of the update i know you guys have been waiting for a long time and i'm very thankful for you guys for being so patient for this update i know we're going on five months at this point i thank you all so much for being so patient with me and the rest of the team um you guys have been very supportive of the server in general uh we've been hitting very high player counts the last couple months which is insane I'm very confident with this ROF uh, slash 1.2 update. I hope you guys are excited for the update. I mean, I'm, I'm, I know you guys are, but uh, I'm trying to trying to do my best. You know, really, uh, the delays are partially for just hey, I want to test stuff as well as I'm still developing at this moment. So, like while I'm recording this devlog, what is today? February February eighth? Wait, February 9th. I'm still in the uh, update is still in development. And I'm doing my best to get my to-do list now. One thing I'll say I have left, uh, I gotta finish up party scripting, which sounds a lot more complicated than it is, but the whole party system is there visually on the screen. Now that's been done for like two, three months now. Uh, I just need to make it so, you know, you can start quests with your party, do quests, receive rewards, all that. Um, I, uh, as for new, like, videos, I, I know there's been like a lack of videos we were doing every couple day uploads, like, every three day uploads on this channel uh the reasoning for that is because you know i have to do some thumbnail making for even even a one punch devil like i gotta go make a thumbnail i gotta do a little bit of editing add the intro outro whatever you know i have to do that sky didn't already do for his part of the editing you know and that's just like a 30 minute to an hour endeavor per like video and i'd honestly rather just put some development time into the server make the server better because how i look at it i'd rather the server be good than me hype you guys up you know what i mean and obviously i love hyping you guys up i like keeping you guys in the in the loop I love making you guys excited for the update you know um i'm really excited for this update i'm probably i'm probably the biggest hype beast here dude uh you guys ain't got nothing on me because you know obviously there's a lot of stuff that's going into this update that you guys don't even know about in that regard right there's a lot of stuff for like that i just don't tell you guys there's a lot of quality of life stuff it's just small little changes that I guarantee you will just make your time on the server so much better. Uh, I know I've been rambling on here a little bit, but again, I want the update to come out in February. If we're looking towards a March release, I'll let you guys know. But at this moment, it's February. I'm not going to say middle. I'm not going to say late. I don't know. Still got some development. Let me go ahead and pull up my to-do list for you guys. Oh, Wii's training. Locations built. He's that on the Twitter. Make sure you guys follow us on Twitter if you're not already, by the way. Thank you. Wii's training. I just have to do the coding for the training itself uh there is going to be a cooking in waste training as well as some other things i won't delve into that uh i gotta finish key sense uh if you guys 
also i teased the new lock-ons there's new lock-on designs that's cool uh data sync between instances meaning uh character setting transferring and this has already been explained you can watch I think last devlog no not it wasn't a devlog but it was a video about instance allocation you can go watch that one um yeah that one just got some testing left i got a couple miscellaneous fixes about what is it, 16 got 16 little small things to do uh and a lot of these are like probably like 10 20 minute fixes some of them are bigger uh daily emissions again the coding for those which uh the way i'm setting them up won't be too difficult and that's maybe a one or two day endeavor uh, a couple more things for melee. I want to fix. I want to fix up combos a little bit more, make them a little bit more visually appealing and just function a little bit better. Quality of life stuff. Um, I want to change the running and flying speed calculation. That'd be nice. Uh, so forms will have different running and flying speeds. You know, performance improvements. I just want to go ahead and optimize packet sending so that uh, you guys aren't running like five megabytes a second while you're just playing the server casually because. You know, if packets are sent too often, it's sending a couple of bytes. And if it's sending it 20 times a second, you're getting into like hundreds of, uh, you're getting into like hundreds of kilobytes. And then it's like, oh, you know, um, that's really it on the list. I mean, we, we got some testing to do. I, I do testing here and there. I pull some people in, but a lot of the testing is just me, uh, just testing things out as, I mean, obviously when you're developing something, it's not developed unless it's working and tested. That's of how this works you know i can't test something if it's not functional um unless it's a fallout franchise but this isn't that we're not affiliated with bethesda so thankful for that but really that's it on the list you know uh i got like transforming enemies to do a little bit of more work on challengers just a little more touch-ups here and there uh i believe the questing team needs to go through and put in some of the scripting still for a couple of the sagas that's fine uh, that, that's honestly it. When I read that list, it feels a lot smaller than it looks. I've been knocking things out recently. And uh, I'm just going to take a moment again to thank you guys. I know I've said it like many times, but I am very thankful for your guys' support in the server. I am very thankful that just in general, I get to work on uh, developing a Minecraft server and be able to be financially stable off a Minecraft server. You know, that's very, like very significant to me in my life i because this is one of the things i look forward to most you know i'm at work dude i bring a little notepad to work and i write down ideas for my server dude i ask some of my buddies hey how does this sound i explain the whatever to them um but i enjoy running the server a lot and it's probably just in, in my life it's what i enjoy the most uh right there above my girlfriend you know yeah girlfriend minecraft server of course as it should be uh, but yeah, I, you know, I have a lot of fun developing this. And I'm glad you guys enjoy what, what, what I put out, what me, me and the team put out. And again, you know, don't underappreciate the rest of the team. I, I do development and all of that textures here and there, but the rest of the team is very important as well. You know, you got Kazel doing all those terrains, you got people like Amazing, Hercule, uh, a couple other builders here and there, like Cody, um, doing all the structures for all the areas. They make our areas look great, our structures look great. Uh, then you have people like Munchkin doing the item textures, all the, uh, armor items, like, in-hand in items, as well as any other items you see, all Munchkin. I don't do item designs. I do actual armor textures on the body, as well as, uh, NPC skins and player skins, of course. Um, as well as just, you know, everyone else, all the testers, they, they, uh, they do an amazing job. The admin team, of course, Rai, Sky, interesting name scheme. Um... All of them, you know, Vegeta, Vegeta does all the dialogue on the server. Shout out to him, dude. He, he's always working hard. Uh, everyone on the team, everyone on the team works hard. You got to work hard to be on our team. You know, that's, that's how it is. Uh, again, you guys can apply for tester. Go watch the server allocation video in the description there. Um, I do have a small announcement to make at the end of this video. We're almost at 10 minutes. Wow. Can I milk it? Just kidding. Yes, I can because I didn't talk to you guys about the stat sheet. Oop, let me close that. Hey, look, I'm in full power Arcosi and don't mind that. That's the alt form for Arcosians. So, some important things to notice. I'm going to go ahead and go into third form Arcosian. Or not. That's fine, you know. No big deal. Uh, a little off. Transforming's a little bit buggy at this time. You get it. Uh, just the way the speed works. But, 
the important thing to notice, I realized yesterday, when you're in third form, you have like a little bit lower decks or higher decks or something. I got rid of that. That was only visual. That was never taken into account. It is important to notice that all the damage you see, your actual melee damage in your menu and output are the exact same. They're both pulling. For, uh, this sounds so obvious, but they both pull from a method server side as well. It can pull with server or client, client for here and server for the actual calculation. This variable is what you're going to hit, you know, and obviously you can charge down and see. Yeah, that's cool. And as you guys can see, I have key fist on. Uh, I'll quickly go over. God, this is going to be a long video. But hey, you guys haven't had one in a while, so boom. Key fist. Strength divided by spirit, it's one of the two. It's it, You get it. So if I have a level 10 key fist, but my spirit is only level 50k and my strength is 100k, I'm only going to have a 5% bonus. You get 1% bonus per level of key fist. And the effectiveness is your spirit to SDR ratio. Key protection, dex to spirit ratio. You get the idea. Same deal, both 1%. Key boost is 1.5% per level at this moment. Also, yeah, all the calculations. Don't mind my 1% running speed. I'm slow. I'm obese. But all the calculation has changed. I'm very, very excited for this update. There's so many things that I've wanted to do with the Dragon Ball mod for so long that I'm so happy to finally do and like finally be able to change these variables, be able to change how much HP Arcosian martial artists get, just all these things, you know? Every single race class has new things. Don't don't worry about the numbers. These will all be released to you guys. All there's there's a lot. All of the all these little multipliers here will all be available for you guys as well as tons of other information. You know, I want to keep you guys in the know. I want you guys to know what is what, you know? Want a new player to be able to join, open the spreadsheet, boom. Also, forms. That'll be cool. Like F-O-R-U-M-S. This thing in the menu. To be able to go there, have discussions, lengthy suggestions even, uh, that are too long for the Discord, and people will be able to discuss right underneath it in a form sense. To be able to just respond. Hey, da 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 da. You'll be able to put polls, all the cool form stuff. These are open, or they will be open. So it's a great idea. I love it's gonna be cool. Uh to make the server feel honestly just more like a community because you know Discord's cool, but a forms is a more uh, formal, ironically, place um, to just discuss, seriously talk about things, you know, here and there. Um, yeah, yeah, that's cool. Uh, there's not really a whole lot else to talk about. I'm getting rid of those weird stat offsets that you have, like, you know, stats when it will actually display like what your multiplier is. Um, but hey, I, my big announcement for you guys. I don't know what day it is. Well, I, I mean today. Is the ninth as i had to check earlier but you guys have something to look forward to and what's that you might ask well i'm gonna tell you ascended god form reveal uh well you because all of them have changed even the namekian one slightly changed since you guys saw it like a month ago at this point so yeah uh it's gonna be a big live stream you guys will be i'll be revealing i don't know if i'll reveal all of them just know I'll reveal. Uh, I'll show the updated Namekian one. I'll show Human Ascended and another one. So either Saiyan or Arcosian. I might show them all. We'll see. Uh, stay tuned for that. I'll post the date and announcements. I'll ping you guys uh, when this video goes up. And I'll have I'll have info when this video goes up. How about that? Because I'm probably going to edit this after I get home from work. And then get it up in the afternoon tomorrow on the 10th. If you're watching this on the 10th, howdy. Uh... I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I could shed some light on the development cycle and why it's almost been five months. Uh, I work on the server almost every day. I, you know, like to say I'm very proud of that. Uh, I'm doing my absolute best to get this to you guys in a timely manner. Obviously, there's there's things like I'm not going to cut corners just to make it uh, come out a little bit sooner because again, I realize you guys have an insane level of patience patience that I appreciate so much. Um, I'm, I, I never intend to take advantage of your guys' patience. Um, I appreciate it extremely. And I, I, I am taking it as an opportunity to give myself and my team more time to flesh out this update. 
so we don't have a similar situation to the remaster 1.1 release where they're fairly buggy and you know we're sitting there stressing out for a week or two i just want to release this update and be able to kick back for a week or two you know have fun with you guys do events uh you know just hang out with you guys after the update releases i'm very excited for this update um i hope you guys are too have a great day uh again sorry for the lack of content you know uh do my best here have an amazing day